So what do we got in store today, Matt? A little flooring, a little sanding. How's she going, man? She's going. She's not me the nicest, but... I already got the drum sander done. Got the edge sander out. I don't know if you can pick up that haze, but it's probably should have a respirator on. Day in the life. Saturday morning just gotta get a little work done here I've got a wedding to go to at 2 um, but, but this is the life working full-time having been responsible for 32 apartments probably gonna ditch two of them because they're just big problem child and it's my friend that friend that owns them and it's just a duplex so I'll probably go back down to 30 here next month because those two require more work. Those two apartments require more work than probably 12 that my friend owns over those brick buildings that I've shown in a previous video. We actually ended up finishing up that remodel and sorry I wasn't able to get you in there, but the guy basically, we finished it late on a Thursday and then Friday, basically I got out of work and went straight there and met the guy there to sign a lease and have him get in. So that was a little cutting it close, but hey, we got them in there. You know, got that $600 security deposit and 400 bucks in prorated rent. So it was worth it, you know, it's like 20, 30, depending on the apartment, maybe even $40 a day. For every day it sits up empty. Um, right now I have a two bedroom that's empty. That I'm thinking about going to section eight. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, right now, before I call her quits for the day, I'm actually gonna go do a little dump run and throw all that crap out that's in the back of my truck. Um, I'll see if I can get you guys in there on that apartment that we redid. Maybe I can buzz over there and uh, see if he's cool with me just doing a little walkthrough because the floors turned out pretty stellar. I uh, ended up repainting everything in there. Living room white and then the hallway, kitchen and bedroom gray. So, as I'm showing you guys these time lapses, um, I apologize for making motion sick, but I know there's probably gonna be guys out there that, hey, that's not how you paint, hey, that's not how you actually refinish wood floors, but I don't know, when you're refinishing a wood floor in a apartment where the building costs less than, a, you know, per unit, came up to less than $25,000 per unit, you know, we're just in there sand it down get it to a, just back to raw wood and then just throwing four coats of poly on it just wheel with water-based poly it doesn't smell and uh it's 
goes on a little thin though. I feel like the oil-based stuff is a little thicker and you get a little better coverage on it. But, you know, probably end up at once a year maybe just throwing another coat of water-based poly every time there's a turnover just to keep the floors looking fresh. Because a lot of those floors, man, they were, some areas they got black from dirt and probably wear through all the protective layers and coats on there. But, um, but yeah, you know, this is uh, pretty much as you become a landlord and you're still working full time, you pretty much trade your hobbies, assuming you had hobbies. Uh, trade all those hobbies that you had just to be an maintenance guy. So you gotta have fun with it. You know, you gotta you know, entertain yourself, talking to tenants, be nice to them. You, have to, it's, you kinda have to have a respectful relationship with your tenants. I, I kinda treat them not like an employee at all, because I think probably people treat their employees pretty terribly, but um, actually just treat them like a co-worker that's been there five years longer than you. Where you're kind of equal, but you kind of want to stay a little professional still. I think that's the best way that I can describe how to treat your tenants, and then they'll respect you. Right now, I actually had an issue where I'd have a tenant that basically had, I ended up paying them 100 bucks to get out. That's what it was. He only paid me half of July rent and didn't pay me August, and then he wasn't planning on paying me September. So I was like, hey, I can either evict you or I can give you 100 bucks and get out of here. That way, you don't have an eviction on your record. It's a win win for all of us. He gets super excited about the 100 bucks because he probably makes minimum wage. Um, I don't think he's that bad of a guy. And he's gotten to a tough spot with, uh, had a couple of issues come up with his car. And then his, his baby mama go, taking her to court for custody. And I think that cost him a lot more than he was planning on spending. And which basically, you know, I don't know why people think it's, think it's okay to just not pay their rent and then pay other things first. I mean, a car expense, you need your car. Um, custody, I mean, in his case, it's a little different, but he also spent money on other crap. Like, you know, next time I go over there, he's, oh, yeah, I bought a new couch. Oh, yeah, I bought a new table. Oh, yeah, you know, like, just trying to fill up my apartment, you know, make sure it's good for when I have friends over. Like, okay, well, hey, man, yeah, I get pretty annoyed when you show me, tell me you spent 200 bucks on a couch that you got a stellar deal on, and, I've, and you're a couple hundred dollars behind on your rent. You know, it's, uh, I pretty much just give him a seven-day demand notice at that point. Um, some people, a lot of people I rent to, it's definitely Class C housing. Uh, they need, I don't know if they just need a reality check or what. But, I don't know. But, well, hey, that's probably how I'm going to end this video. It's kind of jumping all over. Um, give you a little preview to the remodel we're doing of the other apartment. And, uh, you know, hopefully we get that one filled and get her going and then we'll be full for winter hopefully as long as nothing else comes up all right stay dirty keep working